two Merseyside clubs separated by the length of Stanley Park. And here they are at Goodison, ready for another edition of the Derby. Everton and Liverpool. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me, ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, I believe you have a connection with the stadium. Absolutely. As a youngster, I supported Everton, so this was always the biggest game of the season for me. Over more recent years, Liverpool have dominated, of course they have, but this should be a great occasion today. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Michael Keane in central defence. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Abdoulaye Ducouré in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. The news lineup as follows. Number one, Jordan Pickford. Number 23, Seamus Coleman. Thank you for attending Wilson Park. Enjoy the match. might be onto something Jota must take the lead here a goal they've opened the scoring in the derby and I'll tell you what you can hear a pin drop in here well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish Salah, and he's through here, and a goal, the quick one too, and they've turned this game on its head. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. It's Liverpool facing Inter. Well, first legs can be negative affairs, but I don't think that will be. Both sides will be desperate for a lead going into that second leg. Oh, Stuart, leg. they could be in here. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And that will be a corner. Jota. Nicely saved. And on to Alexander-Arnold. And Roberto Firmino's in there. And he's found the net. Roberto Firmino. Well, here we can see again just how well Alexander-Arnold did to get the cross into such a good area. But how has he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. And the cross goes in, it could be, keeper did his job to begin with, 
And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Jones, Salah, Firmino, and there it is, that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And the referee blows for full time. This goes down as a Liverpool victory. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, Roberto Firmino frequently does things to please his manager, and quite the handful on this occasion, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.